Hi, in this video we're going to see how extending base facts allows us to multiply much bigger numbers um, just by using simple multiplication facts. So let's start off with a basic multiplication fact, 7 times 2. Um, one way of thinking about this is that I could have 7 groups of 2, which would make 14. So let me go ahead and write in the answer here. Um, 7 groups of 2 equals 14. Now let's suppose that I want to extend this fact and make it a little bit more difficult. And instead of doing 7 groups of 2, I want to take 7 groups of 20. Notice that I've extended this um, base fact with 1, 0, which I wrote in green, just so you can really see how it's adding on to the original fact 7 times 2. Now, instead of 7 groups of 2, I'm going to have 7 groups of 20. So here's 10, 20, and here I have 7 groups of 20. So if I count by 20s, I'll have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140. So my answer is 140, and I'm going to write that 0 in green because what I'm doing here is I'm first, one way of, of getting this answer without drawing all these pictures is to say, well, my base fact is 7 times 2, which is 14. And there's one zero in my answer, so I will extend my answer with one zero and I get 140. So let's try some examples that extend base facts. First, let's do 30 times 40. Okay, and I'll go ahead and I'll color this zero green and this zero green because these are the zeros that extend my base fact. My base fact is 3 times 4 which is 12. Now I go back to the problem and I see that in the problem there are two zeros so I'm going to extend my answer with two zeros and that makes my answer 1200. Don't try to say the answer until you've written out the whole number and you can see exactly what it is. Let's try another one. Let's do 5 times 800. And again, I'm going to extend, put those zeros that extend my problem and trace over them in green so we can see that the base fact is 5 times 8. Well, 5 times 8 is 40. Okay, so notice that my base answer 40 already has a 0 in it. That comes from the 5 times 8. So when I add my two zeros, I need to add two more zeros. Okay, these are the two, these are the two zeros that match the two zeros in the problem, and the 5 times 8 gave me 40. So my answer, when I put my comma in, is 4,000. Let's try one more that gets even bigger. 70 times 900. And I'll put my zeros that extend the problem in green. Okay. Once I do that, I can clearly see that my base fact is 7 times 9. So I know that 7 times 9 is 63, but there are three zeros in the problem, so I need to add three zeros to my answer, and I can put my comma in once my once I've written all the digits, and I see that the answer is 63,000. So by using this simple method, when you see a problem that ends in zeros, that problem has a base fact in it, and if you multiply the base fact, all you have to do is add the extra zeros to your answer to get your final answer. And this is a great strategy for multiplying large numbers that end in zeros. Um, it's, it's super, super easy. So I hope that you try it out um, and use it whenever you see problems of this kind.